It tells us that Matt sells gadgets to 150 identical consumers. The inverse demand from any given customer is given by price equals 10 minus 0.5Q. The constant marginal cost of producing gadgets is $3. The question asks, if Matt charges a profit maximizing two-part price, what is the fixed fee? Well, let's look at this graph to help us organize our thoughts. We see that we have a straight line for inverse demand because P equals 10 minus 0.5Q, the Q is just raised to the one. So it's not Q squared or Q raised to the three or Q raised to the 0.5, it's just Q. That tells us we have a straight line for demand. In two-part pricing, we want to capture all of the customer's consumer surplus and cover all of our cost. This blue triangle represents the individual's consumer surplus, which is equal to our fixed fee. This red rectangle represents our cost, which we will cover by charging a per unit price equal to marginal cost. So we want to produce at Q star, which is where the line price or inverse demand intersects or is equal to the line marginal cost. This question is asking specifically about the fixed fee, so we need to find the area of the blue triangle. Because we have linear demand, the easiest way to solve this is by using simple geometry, which says one half base times height will give us the area of that triangle. So we need to find these two yellow points in order to solve for the area of the triangle. Well, this first point is at the intercept on the price axis. We see that at this point, Q equals zero. So we can solve by plugging zero in for Q in our inverse demand function. So we do that, plugging zero in for Q, and we solve this down to see if that point happens where P equals 10. Now that we solve for one point, let's look at the second point. This point is where one line, price, our inverse demand, intersects our marginal cost curve. So we can plug in three, which is marginal cost, in for the price variable in our inverse demand function to solve for Q star. So we do that, three equals 10 minus 0.5 Q. We do some algebra, we subtract 10 from each side, and we divide through by negative 0.5, and we see that we found Q star to equal 14 in this case. So now we have our three points, we can solve for the area of the triangle, which remember is simply base times height, which is equal to our fixed fee. So in this case, it's one half times 14, which is our base, zero to 14 units, times seven, which is our height, because we went from $3 to $10, and we found that our fixed fee is equal to 49.